Only sissies use maps. Maps are very, very important. Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, cartographer joke. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Who couldn't? Is that all you do? Make maps? Well, I do some restoration work too. I paste them together, recopy them, paint little cupids in the corners. You know, artsy fartsy stuff. Maps are very, very important. I'm sure they are. Uh, well, goodbye. Okie dokie. It's a pile of blank paper. Nice map. Aha. Uh -huh. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my um, sister once had. It's too small. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. They're sleeping peacefully. It's just a bucket. Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Wake up! What is it? Long time no see. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map? Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The sacking lunch. It was quite lucrative. Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. That you're a pack of loonies? He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Sure. Thanks. Here's some money for the polish. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Uh so to speak. 
Right, right. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um, but... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well, we're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh, uh... Hmm. Stupidity? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like... Orcaphobia. Fear of strange vegetables? Say what you will, we're not coming down. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. He looks nice enough. Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes the cleanest they can be. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean. I got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out? Ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I got a laundry type question. Shoot. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You got some nerve. Uh, I'm sorry. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? I lost it while being keel-hauled. Your dog got mauled? What does that have to do with a claim ticket? Oh, never mind. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? Mom threw it out when she cleaned my room. What? You beat your mom with a broom? You should treat her better than that. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? I must have left it in my other pants. Why'd you trade it for chocolate-covered ants? I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? It was stolen. Taking it bowling was a dumb thing to do. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? I dropped it in my grog and it melted. Log welted it? Well, now that is a good excuse. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I got a laundry type question. Shoot. Actually, nothing. I don't care about clean clothes. No, I don't have wheat loaves. I didn't think you would. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. <clears throat> yeah? Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. I think he wanted me to polish it for him. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Uh. 
I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced.